now at the what happens as a result of these mutations so we've got point mutations so point mutations are known um so point mutations are a type of mutations that happen as a result of damage to dna and there are two sort of distinct categories for them the first one is a uh, substitution so that they can be substitution mutations or they can be frame shift mutations so with substitute so with frame shift mutations there are two specific types there is insertion or deletion so we've basically got the three types of mutations that happen as a result of these and the three effects. So the three types are, they can be silent mutations. So silent mutations is when there is no effect on the uh, codon, on the, uh, on the DNA. So that there's no effect, it's silent, it doesn't have any effect on the DNA. The second is um, missense, which is uh, the when we see a change in the amino acid because the codons have been disturbed there has been a change in the codons finally we've got a nonsense mutation which means that a stop codon has been prematurely introduced which is going to affect the um it is going to prematurely stop the process um and affect the dna that is being produced sorry that is going to affect the proteins um and the peptide synthesis that's happening so that those are firstly point mutations now we've got chromosomal mutations now chromosomal mutations um is when we, actually let me just quickly go back just because i realized i forgot to mention something so with point mutations that's the big category so there are point mutations but there are two types of point mutations there's substitution when a base has been switched out and then this framework when either a base has been inserted or it has been deleted and so as a result you get to see three different types of effects uh, sorry three different types of changes and then this uh, and then this specific effects so just wanted to flag that out okay let's have a look now at um, chromosomal mutations so chromosomal mutations um, usually occur as a result um, of errors that happen during meiosis and crossing over and that could be because crossing over occurs incorrectly so there can be chunks of dna that was screwed up and that can cause structural mutations to happen um we can also see sister chromatids being incorrectly separated so during anaphase um you know when the uh, chromosomes are supposed to separate the dna could not like it may not be separated properly which can then again cause a number of mutations as well so let me just check my charges plugged in just sparkling Oh, good. All right, just making sure. Yep. Okay, perfect. So, let's now have a look at um, the effects of it. The effects are usually severe because now we've got issues, um, you know, within the DNA happening, um at a bigger level like it's happened during meiosis and it is going to affect the phenotypic expression but it's also going to affect um their gametes in, in some cases it can affect their gametes as well depending on what the mutation is so there are four types of structural chrom chromosomal mutations they include deletion so deletion is when a chunk of that chromosome has been deleted as suggested by the name there is inversion when a part of that dna has been inverted inside out we also have translocation when a part of the dna has been misplaced so so uh, the chromosome has been um displaced and finally we have duplication where a part of the chromosome has been duplicated so those are the four types of structural mutations and um if you've got mutations in the number of chromosomes which can again happen if you know we've seen if it's happening during meiosis and it affects the separation of the strands there can be mutations um in the number of chromosomes and there are two main times there's anapolity and polypolity so anapolity is when the overall number of chromosomes of the offspring differs to that of the parents uh, of the parents so 
for example, in Down syndrome, the individual has 47 chromosomes instead of the usual 46 chromosomes. And that is because they have um, three copies of chromosome uh, of chromosome number 21 so that's adiplady then we've got polyplady which is when an organism contains more than two sets of homologous chromosomes so for example um triplady is a condition in which the fetus has three copies of every homologous chromosome instead of two copies um, and that is obviously going to have a severe effect um, you know on a large number of genes so um we've got uh, so as i introduced you earlier to chutzpah here are some examples of uh for example um our little guides to looking at mutations and these um and i he i tutor biology here at cheat spots i tutor biology pdhp and english advanced and this is um you know what, one of the examples of how we like to deliver our content obviously um we have a very similar sort of slide uh not slide structure sorry we have a very similar structure in terms of you know go through the slides but um some of the resources and the way in which we present our content includes like in infographics like this which can be so helpful in visualizing what is happening um, and these are here for you if you want to have a look and use them and add on to your notes as well okay now let's